Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. We're doing something a little different today, so let's get into it and I'll tell you all about it. This is a Tinsky blow dryer and Tinsky reached out to me and asked if I would like to review their blow dryer. And I said, yes, I absolutely would because my blow dryer recently died. And when I heard from them, I went out and read all about theirs and it sounds fantastic. It sounds like it offers all of the benefits of my very expensive brand. I think I've told you guys this because it died fairly recently. That recently died that was just out of warranty. This has so many of the same benefits. So I'm going to take it out, we'll unbox it now, and then we're gonna go downstairs, shower up, and blow dry my hair, and see what we think. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. The packaging is, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a really heavy box, very nice packaging. This is the Tinsky Sky S200. I will put a link down below for you. It is an Amazon link, but I also have a code, and the code will get you 20% off this dryer. I went out because I was like, how do you use a code on Amazon? But you can. I went ahead and went through the process with my link. Once you put it in your cart, you go to checkout and down below, it it has a little square that says promotional codes. I have never noticed that before. I think it might be also where you put gift cards. I've, I've never had a promotional code on Amazon. I didn't even know it was possible. They asked me what color I would like. It comes in pink, blue, and silver. This is what it looks like. Before we take it out of the box, let's get it out of here. We have a travel pouch. That is very nice. It's very plush and velvety. When we take it out, that is what it looks like. And we also have a nozzle, so we can do directionality, backwards, down. I use these constantly. Generally, I try and get it, you know, 80, 90% dry, and then I start messing with this. When I was trying to decide if this was right for me, I looked up all the information. You guys know we talk on the channel a lot about my hair. It's very thin. It's very straight. This is just my hair natural. This isn't me straightening it or anything. This is just my natural hair. It's very fragile these days. It wants to break a lot, although it is breaking less because of some of the products that I'm using on it. But anything that says that it's going to be more gentle on my hair, I am 100% down for. This has a 110,000 RPM ionic brushless motor. I think, <laughs> and I think from what I have looked up, that means that you get faster drying out of it. I am absolutely not a tech person, but I am absolutely down for faster drying. Beauty of this is the motor, the weight of it sits over the handle. So it does feel like it's going to be super light and easy to use. And the front of it looks so different from blow dryers that I'm used to using. I cannot wait to see how that works. And the nozzle is magnetic. And I do like that because like I was saying a minute ago, I take this on and off because I do my hair 80%-ish. <laughs> I don't know what the percentages are. I get my hair very dry before I pop this on and start, you'll see me when I do it, but start using my brush just to get some directionality. This also generates 200 million negative ions when you're using it that stops you from having frizzies and flyaways. That also helps speed up the drying process and it makes your hair, I think I have percentages, hold on. It increases smoothness by 75%, shine by up to 132%, and it decreases frizz and is two times faster than traditional dryers. And, and I found this very important. It has a built-in thermo control microprocessor that monitors the temperature 100 times a second to prevent heat damage. And talking about the breakage and the fragility of my hair, I love that idea. Let's take all of the protective stickers off of it. It's much prettier now. I would actually call this more of a gunmetal than a silver if it was me. I like that a lot. I like it to blend into my vanity. So this totally works for me. Enough talking about this up here. You guys wanna see how it works. I wanna see how it works. Let me take it downstairs, get my hair all washed up and we'll give it a try. And now the passage of time. We are downstairs, my hair is wet. I've done the exact same thing that I did the day before yesterday when I blow dried my hair. I have a little Briogeo Farewell Frizz in the ends, some Fakai Root Boost at the roots, and then I use my Vegamore at the scalp, but that probably doesn't affect blow drying. But I wanted to do the exact same thing because yesterday it took me, I timed it, and it took me just under six minutes. And we wanna see how this compares. I will start without the nozzle. We will then add the nozzle. We can monitor the temp in the back. That way you'll know as you go whether you want to use the cold the warm or the hot it has the three heat settings so you can use what's best for your hair so it does the least amount of damage on the back we have the on off button the temperature button and then on the front I think this is the speed so let's get into it 
See how it works? And it starts green. I think that's how you know it is cool. And then blue, we're at 100 degrees. And then I tap it again and it takes us over to the hot and we're at 175 degrees. So I just jump right in to blow drying my hair at 175 degrees. And I can tell right from the start that it's so lightweight. It holds so easily. And I'm already shocked at how quickly my hair is drying. I had to edit so little out of this because my hair dried so quickly. The speed that you're seeing is just two times speed. And I did edit just a skosh out, but it was drying so quickly. I really was amazed. Also, I meant to mention to you guys, the link that I have below is an affiliate link. I always want to be really upfront about that. It was drying so quickly that I probably normally under normal circumstances would have already gone to using the nozzle, but this doesn't overblow your hair. So I wasn't even realizing that or thinking about that I didn't have the nozzle on it. So because it wasn't abusing my hair and making it fly everywhere, I actually got through this entire blow dry experience without the nozzle. After I do my round brush, I switch over to just a regular brush just to, I don't know why, <laughs> just to kind of comb through, brush through everything. But I just like the finish that it gives me, and I feel like it just helps it dry a little quicker. But at this point, I think it's basically dry, and I'm just making absolutely sure that it is. I think that's it. Let me comb through it and see if I think that it's really dry. It is completely dry now. Yeah, let me show you the front, show you the back. It's completely dry. I think that it might be, and you guys see me do my videos, I think that it might be a little smoother than it normally is. Usually directly after blow drying in through here, I tend to have a little more frizz that I don't have today. Yeah, I think it looks a little more smooth, so I will give it that. Shininess is hard to tell. I know it's hard to show in a video, but I have fairly shiny hair anyway, so it's hard to see if shine is really added. That one is definitely more difficult to quantify. What is not more difficult to quantify is that. It took me three minutes, 38 seconds, 0.38, so it's like I won some kind of contest. Three minutes and 38 seconds to blow dry my hair. And that includes the turning it on, coming over here, working it out, reaching over, turning it off. So it definitely shaved time off of how long it takes me to blow dry. This is not scientific. With humidity in the air, any other variable there could be, how much of the exact cream that I used in the bottom of my hand, there could be any variable that could affect it just a little bit. But this definitively shows that I would say that it took at least a minute and a half off of my short blow dry time as it is. I mean, I know some people with really nice heads of hair, it takes much longer than that to blow dry. So even in my short little five, six minute blow dry, it took a minute and a half off. I wanted to compare apples to apples. I did it today with on hot at the 175 that I showed you and I used the air on full blast, which I will probably always do. I may try and do it on the 100 so it's not as hot and not as harsh on my hair next time, but that will take longer and we really wanted to see if this would make a difference. And no makeup because I wanted to do like I always do straight out of the shower. I wanted to blow dry my hair again so we'd stay apples to apples. So I will put the link for this below plus a code. It is on Amazon, but the code, once you've gotten to the checkout portion, there is a place for you to put a promo code. It works in there. I tried it. It is for 20% off. This was sent to me for review, but you guys know you would get my honest review. My honest review is I am setting my other blow dryer aside. I am using this. I like how lightweight it is. Even though it doesn't take a long time to blow dry my hair, I'm happy to shave off anytime I can. And I I do think that my hair looks smoother. Two thumbs up for me. If you have any questions, let me know below. If it's something I can help you with, I certainly will. This is the Tinsky Sky S200. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you spending the time with me. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out and time to get some makeup. <laughs> Bye guys.